I am here. <laughs> Wait. I am trying so hard to record a video and all of you are making noise! I'm sorry. That, that was kind of circular. But yeah, it's Ron's owl. Ron's owl. <laughs> Let's see how much Ron's owl may go for. Ow! I think I just rebroke my broken toe. Oh, ow. Oh. Abby Cadabby. Okay. Gun, Abby Cadabby, and I will show you what she can go for. Here it says Gund. Sesame Street seems to sell really well. I'm not quite sure why, but it does. Baby Gund. Baby Gund. Yes, I'm wearing my pajama pants. Yes, you can have a piece of cake. Sorry. It was my husband's birthday, and so everybody wants to eat cake. What do you know? Birthday, and people want to eat cake. Anyway, so I will put up a screenshot of what, what these can go for. 50 cents. A couple of very interesting things that I don't typically pick up. Lingerie. So these are by Juliana Ray. You can see that. And it's actually new with tags. And I when I looked up Juliana Ray, um it looks like it resells really well. So we'll see how it goes. It's only the bottoms. Okay, and then I picked up some Victoria's Secret lingerie also. It's the gold label, which is vintage. Probably Y2K. I would not wear this. <laughs> I would put that back in the bin. Not if you could make $30 off of like $2. I would. Is it clean? I don't know. Well then. Oh. I, I washed. I washed it. This is going to be the worst video on the history <laughs> of my videos. Okay, so I actually have both pieces. And here is the other piece. Thank you for the picture. And there's the tag. So it's very pretty if you like to wear lingerie. So actually lingerie can sell really, really well. That's why I picked it up. I have not picked up any lingerie before. So we will see if these wind up in my sold videos and how they do. A 5XL Harley Davidson shirt. It is from Cocoa Beach, Florida. And I was like, oh man, this is a really cool one because I love the images on it. I thought they were really, really cool. But then I realized there's a giant bleach stain. So I will not put it on for as much as I originally was going to, but I still think it'll sell even with, I mean, really, I think the bleach stain adds a little bit of like pop to it. This is Bruno Mars and it is a tour shirt. So the shirts cost never while y'all are at home again. The shirts cost a dollar fifty. Some tour shirts go for more than others. These, I will show you the comps. I have a few more. Here's <laughs> the back of this one. And the images look really great. So I'm gonna show y'all the next one. A Jax. It was a great t-shirt day. I found a Fallout Boy tour shirt, 2017. T-shirts are $1.50, so my cost of goods with this shirt is $1.50. Here are some comps that I found. I keep chopping off my head with the top of this thing because I can't relax and sit back because everybody's throwing balls at me. All right, never find Patagonia stuff at my Goodwill. I don't know why, but I usually don't. And this time I did. And this shirt, the comps are not great for. Um, 
and I forgot that I had gone out of the t-shirt portion and so this actually cost me four dollars and 25 cents. It's so funny because I say I'm not a clothes reseller yet I, I pick up clothes. I just don't like complicated clothes. All right this is a Jumpman Jordan basketball type old jersey. Um, so I actually bought this and offered it to my son who loves basketball and he told me he didn't really want to wear it because it didn't have a team logo on it. So I said, okay, I'll sell it. So my cost of goods of this was actually about $3.25 and I think it'll sell quickly though. It's in great shape. Is there a Victoria's Secret? Pajamas do not cost a lot and mainly because they had little bunnies on them. So now I have to challenge myself to list these in time for people to buy them for Easter. Yeah, I didn't think that through all the way. This is a champion jersey. This is like a hockey jersey. Um, says the king of sweatshirts. Here is the back of it. And it's like new. I mean, it has no stains, nothing like that. Patagon, pat 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 Patagonia, Patagonia, however you say it. Hat. And it is a snapback adjustable hat, which I prefer over selling fitted hats because you never know if it's going to actually fit. It's Titleist red golf hat. And here are the comps on it. Here's the back of it. I picked it up because it is in really, really good shape. Picked this hat up because the tag was on it. Here is the tag. So it's like a racing, racing vintage racing hat. <laughs> so here are the comps that I was able to find on this hat. This is a Bush beer hat. I looked up the comps on that and I am willing to take chances when I'm spending low amounts of money. So this hat was 50 cents. I saw the comps and I'm going to try to sell it for somewhere around where the comps are. Every time I go to Goodwill, I pick up 10 books that I think look like they might be worth something to resell. And then I comp most of them in the store and I try to pick one or two books. On this run, it was just this one. This is AutoCAD 2020. It is an, a learning guide. And the pages are clean. Here are the comps on it. And again, I am determined to learn more about selling books because I think there's so much money in selling them if you know what you're doing. I actually have not comped this yet but it only cost me 99 cents and it is a Hallmark 1996 Olympics game ornament. I have no idea if this is worth anything. So I'm going to look those comps up right now with you. We're going to figure out if it was a dud of a buy or if it looks like it was a good buy. So we're just going to use Google Lens and I could tell pretty quickly that this would be something that I would I pick up at the bins really but that I would not pick, pick up in out of every store. Category because I'm an everything seller. So I want to know everything I can about every category. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. You start to hear brand names and you recognize them and then you think, "Oh, this might be a good pickup." So I had heard about Spode I had remembered seeing Spode brand dishes. And this is a Christmas napkin holder. So I almost, I was like, well, it's not, it probably isn't worth very much. But then check out these comps. Between $40 and $50 for the last couple of solds of this exact item. So I'm really glad that I looked it up. And it was actually marked down to $1.99. So I spent $2 on it. This is another one that I have not run the comps yet for, so you're going to do that with me now and we are going to see if it was a dud or not. I picked it up because it said Disney theme parks and you guys know that I pick up Disney stuff. Eh. 
All right, so I actually have four cups just like these. And it's very hard to see the detail on them. Let's see if I can get it in there. They're really, really pretty. They've never been used. They all have the tag inside of them. And then on the bottom, you can see where it says Lennox, except for there's a glare on it. I decided to give it a whirl. I'm gonna sell these cups. I picked up two pairs of shoes this time. That was it. And I was actually happy because I have so many pairs of shoes listed right now, but I always do check the shoes. And I was not disappointed because I came across these blue M&M shoes by Brad, the Bradford Exchange, and they are incredibly cute. How cute are these? If these were a size five to six, they would be sold to me. They're a size eight in women's and I paid $6.25 for them. But I do think that because of the colors and everything, they'll sell well. So this was definitely my most interesting find. I thought that the car was legitimately broken it is not. It is made to look that way. And when I looked on the bottom, it says popular imports. So I looked up the comps on these cars. This is a Mustang. And I mean, they looked good. And this was actually marked to $1.99. It was just one of those where I followed my gut. Somebody must collect these or if you like Mustangs, maybe. All right, I was proud of myself yet again because I decided to go look at like the linens. It says Veer Bradley right up there. You could probably see it. Um, I'm assuming it is 100% silk. Last but not least is this crochet lovey blanket. You know, little toddlers can cuddle up and everything. I know people love things that are crochet and somebody definitely worked hard on this. It looks to be handmade. There's no tag. Um, but it is, the colors are really, really cute. It's unique. 50 cents. So I wasn't afraid to try and see what I could make off of it. Plus somebody needs this. Okay, everybody. So I will show you the receipts from both of those runs to my Goodwill store. 24 or something, I don't know, it'll pop up on the screen for you. And then on the other one, I think I spent closer around 30. So maybe a grand total of $50 spent on all of those items that I just showed you. Again, it's always just an approximation. I don't know exactly how much my return will be, but if it's even in the ballpark of this, I'm gonna be a happy camper. And that's what I like about reselling. So thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for tolerating my crazy family who are in the house today. One of them is hoo-hooing right now and the other one is yelling outside. So my focus has not been good, but is it ever good? If you guys like, if you guys like this video, you can hit the thumbs up button. You can subscribe to my channel and don't worry, there's always goofy stuff going on with my kids and my animals to entertain you guys, even if you don't like my reseller content. So thanks for watching.